I have been asked to convert the Warhammer 40k Space Marine to GURPS, but after doing some research and checking some of the existing conversions, I decided that I am not up to the task. I am not very conversational in 40k and honestly I don't even like it that much. But instead I would like to create a genetically engineered super soldier template from scratch for my own game that definitely will rip off 40k in some places. I will call them hoplites. I am going to use the guidelines from GURPS Biotech. I will simply scroll through the engineer trade chapter and pick the traits that I would like to see on the template. The setting in question is around TL10 with some TL11 parts. The first part is brain modification. From this table I think I will include 3D spatial sense and perception plus one. The hoplites are expected to fight in space often, so the 3D spatial sense advantage seems appropriate and the perception bonus is just nice. Then we have the behavioral modification. Hoplites are genetically engineered killing machines, so let's give them Bloodlust 12. Was it intended or was it just a side effect? I do not know and do not care. Let's also give them overconfidence, but with a high self-control number. Next up, sleep state modifications. Let's give them two levels of less sleep. That should make them better soldiers, right? Cardiovascular modifications are important. I will go as far as to give the hoplites very fit, extra 4 FP, two levels of heart to subdue, and improved G tolerance with a gravity increment of 1 G. After that, we have cosmetic and minor transgenic modifications. Here I would like to make the hoplites handsome for propaganda purposes. And that's it. Transgenic traits are frowned upon in the reference society. The next category is digestive and filtration modifications. Here let's give the hoplites no appendix, two levels of reduced consumption and sanitized metabolism. This should make them easier to maintain logistically. Another major section is the glandular modifications. I will not give them a bonus to basic speed, but I will add combat reflexes early maturation too, high pain threshold and no degeneration in 0G. I will skip pheromone modifications and xeno glands, as those are not necessary to a super soldier. From the immune system modifications table, I will pick resistant to disease plus 3. From the lifespan and self repair modifications, let's take HT plus 2, radiation tolerance 2 and nothing else. I am not interested in morphological modifications, but I am interested in the musculoskeletal modifications. I am going to jump ahead and make the hoplites SM plus 1, which will also give them a plus 5 bonus to strength. This means that whatever ST bonuses I take from musculoskeletal modifications will not be fixed numerical bonuses, but rather percentile increases from the base strength 15. I will increase the base strength by 40%. This means another plus 6 bonus to strength. This will allow the hoplites to carry some really big guns, and that's intended. I am going to skip some of the other tables because they do not contain anything relevant to the concept, but I will pay some attention to the unintended disadvantages section. Let's give the hoplites the unusual biochemistry disadvantage. And this is the final result. If I were creating a less idealized template, I would definitely have given them more disadvantages and fewer advantages. This template is very expensive and thus probably is inappropriate for player characters in parties mixed with normal humans, but it should be fine in an all hoplite party. Still, this is much cheaper than what a proper 40k space marine would cost and I am fine with that. As always. Thank you for watching and I will see you next time.